Hello, Wave Country. I'm John Ramsey, and welcome to the Feel Good Friday edition of Wave 3 Listens Live. And that's what we're focusing on today. We are focusing on feeling good because I'm coming to you absolutely live from the Cordon Pain Management Clinic in beautiful Cordon, Indiana. It's a nice short drive. It's a beautiful day. And I'm joined by a couple of doctors and a patient here at the Cordon Pain Management Clinic. First of all, I've got Dr. Elmer Dunbar. Welcome, Dr. Dunbar. Thank you. Renee Tornatori. I hope I get that right, Dr. Renee Tornatori. Good, John. Thank you. <laughs> and also Hank Nevitt. Hank, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. All right. First of all, a little bit of an overview. I think there are probably a lot of folks out there watching who either suffer from chronic pain or have a loved one who suffer from chronic pain. Dr. Dunbar, tell me a little bit about what you accomplish here. Here we um, meet and greet patients that are in chronic pain that they've tried almost every other modality of treatment, including anti-inflammatories, opioids, muscle relaxants, uh, anti-seizure medication, physical therapy, chiropractic therapy. Some of them have also been through surgery and multiple surgeries, but they still have pain. And those are the patients that we see a lot of. And that's my background. Uh, I'm anesthesiology uh, trained and interventional pain management trained. I'm dual board certified in both of those. And I've been practicing this since, I hate to tell you, 1981. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run from that. But yeah. I am proud to tell you I'm from the University of Louisville School there of Medicine. Go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Dunbar, you and I go back a long way. You've had a successful practice for a long time. And in fact, give me a little bit of history on your practice. How far back does that go? Um, in 1981, I started at uh, Audubon Hospital. And I did everything. I did open heart surgery, anesthesia, um, pediatrics, OBGYN. And I did this thing called pain management. And I started that in my residency, taking care of patients who had gunshot wounds, had had surgical intervention, but after surgery they had horrible, wicked pain. I'm from New England, so we say wicked. <laughs> 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 like wicked cold so, out there today. So you found your calling, and, and it I is did. about helping patients because a lot of folks out there need answers. Dr. Tornatori, I want to come to you. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about you know, this partnership and, and your role in it, if you would, please. Well, back whenever I was running just the chiropractic office, we would send patients to pain management because traditionally chiropractic had no drugs, no surgery philosophy. But um, we recognize that it's mu much easier to treat a patient if we can take the edge off for them, they can tolerate care. So I started sending them to pain management, and I was pretty familiar with that. And then um, that worked out so well, we thought we could do a better job at just incorporating it. And then Dr. Dunbar and I go back uh, quite a few years, and um, he's an amazing doctor, and he fits right into our model of getting the patients as good as they can be. Yeah, something I gathered real quickly here at the Court and Pain Management Clinic is this feeling of compassion is genuine. I mean, it's one thing to know the medical side, and both of you are very accomplished. I've read your resumes. It's another to have the compassion component, which I think is important when you're dealing with patients who have to deal with chronic pain. It's such a challenge. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit. You and I had a brief conversation, Dr. Tornatori, about the types of patients that you see, the different types, and maybe some of the stigmas that you that you have noticed and it's probably quite prevalent yeah there is a big stigma of pain management people think that uh, if you go to pain management everyone there is strung out on drugs and it's a pill mill it is not like that today we have a multimodal clinic that means we use a lot of adjunct therapies opioids are not our first line of defense so we have three basic types of patients patients who've had uh, kind of like you hank Chronic injuries, they're probably never going to be 100%. We're, we're, we're here to make it tolerable and let them manage it and have a decent quality of, quality of life on the lowest opioid that, that they can get away with and other therapies. And then we have the patients who are having a maybe acute flare-up, and with today's regulation, they don't, not many doctors are writing any prescriptions um, for pain. Right. So these patients don't want to come to pain management because of the stigma. They don't identify themselves as having that. And then um, also, so they'll come in temporarily on medication, get injections, and then they're gone. They're in, you know, in rehab. Right. They're not going to be on chronic pain medicines. That's, that's not our goal. And then we have a lot of patients who start pain management, 
and get off of pain management and medication because they start conservative care. Yep. I think the, the outcomes here are very positive. Hank, you're one of those. This is Hank Nevitt once again. And Hank, if you would, a little bit about your story and the results that you've received here at the Court and Pain Management Clinic. Yeah, well, I've had multiple surgeries over the years, and I was still left with pain. So I was recommended to come to Court and Pain Management. And I love the doctors here. They take the time to listen to my concerns right. and try to come up with a plan that best fits me and like Dr. T said prescriptions is not the first plan that's that's the last and um, I've had good results here with them. See that's what I want to hear you're, you're feeling better Hank that's yeah. that's the bottom line here and I think it's important to point out Dr. Dunbar it's not cookie cutter everyone is different isn't there and, I mean, and you do have a lot of different types of therapies uh, it may result in medication, uh, other kinds of stimulus that you can use here to reduce the pain, misdirect that pain, correct? Correct. Tell me a little bit about that, the misdirection of pain. There's a science to it. Yes, well, one of those misdirections would be spinal cord stimulation, where we use electrodes that we place in the epidural space in the back, and we scramble the pain signals coming up to the brain. So if the brain never sees those signals, there is no pain. And it's very successful. We can relieve 50% of your pain even if we look at you two years after the implant. So it's sort of like a pacemaker for the spine versus the pacemaker for the heart. Interesting. And as I said, there's all kinds of methods here. It's all about options. And Hank, you're feeling better. If someone is maybe a little hesitant, perhaps they're watching and they're saying, you know, I've been dealing with a chron chronic pain, they can't help me, I'm an exception. What would you tell them? I would say they need to try it because it, it will help. See, I saw the smile. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we want here, okay? Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Again, the Cordon Pain Management Clinic, it's in Cordon, Indiana. It's a quick drive here. It's a beautiful day. And if you know someone who has been suffering from chronic pain, a lot of different methods here. We'll talk more about those. We'll talk to more patients. We'll talk more to Dr. Renee Tornatori, Dr. Dunbar as well. And again, this is a feel-good Friday, and I mean literally feeling good at the Cordon Pain Management Clinic. We'll be right back.